If you're watching this video, you're in a minority. It's not because of your gender or the color of your skin. It has nothing to do with how much money you make or the opportunities you have or the possessions you own. No, you are in a minority simply because you are alive. According to the most common estimates, the world's population today accounts for roughly 6% of everyone who has ever lived. 6%. Now, to put that another way, almost 94% of everyone who's ever lived is currently dead. Now, again, estimates vary, but we're likely talking about something in the neighborhood of 100 billion lives, every one of them ancient history. So, what happens to them? We've seen in our previous videos that God has a plan for those who faithfully follow Him in this life. And we've seen how that plan extends to the survivors of the coming tribulation. But what about everyone else? The Bible tells us that Satan is actively deceiving the whole world. So it's safe to assume that the majority of those 100 billion people never truly understood God's way of life. So what's their fate? The final festival in God's holy day plan, the last great day, also identified in Scripture as the eighth day, focuses on those people, the untold billions who lived and died without ever really knowing what God wanted from them and what He is offering them in return. That group isn't just limited to those who've never heard the name of Jesus Christ. It includes even those who've read the Bible, who've studied the Scriptures, but whose understanding was hampered by Satan, the God of this present age. Now, that's the beauty of God's plan. Everyone gets a chance. Doesn't matter where you were born or even when you were born. You and everyone else who has ever lived will have the opportunity to join the family of God and live on into eternity as his sons and daughters. No one gets overlooked. No one has to miss out. Now is not the time for the whole world to come to repentance. The Feast of Pentecost reminds us that God is currently only working with a select few, the first fruits. But those first fruits are being trained to play a very special role in God's plan, a plan that will ultimately encompass the entire world, not just a handful of chosen ones. And that's the plan of God in a nutshell, to offer life to the entire human race, and not just any life. God is offering eternal life in His family, a life without pain, without sorrow, without death, a life full of purpose and joy and meaning. And the last great day pictures the time when that plan comes to fruition. The resurrected dead will stand before God and receive something they've never had, understanding. The pages of the Bible will be open to them. The veil of Satan's deceptions will be removed. And for the first time in their lives, they will be able to comprehend the fullness of God's plan and His perfect way of life. Now, those who reject God's offer in this life or in the resurrection, who insist on living a way of life that brings pain to themselves and to others, will not be condemned to suffer forever in some eternal hell. That would hardly be the action of a merciful God. But neither would it be merciful to allow those people to continue living in self-inflicted pain. The only truly merciful fate for those who willfully and knowingly reject the way of peace is for God to end their existence. Eternal life without pain and sorrow means removing those who insist on causing pain and sorrow. Even so, everyone will be free to make that choice. That means there is hope for you. There is hope for your family and your friends. There is hope for the billions and billions of people whose lives have come in God because God has not forgotten and will not forget a single one of them. They are precious to Him, and He longs to invite all of them into His family. That day, that last great day, is coming. But what happens next? The Bible actually gives very little information about what happens after God's holy day plan reaches its conclusion. But the glimpse we are given is absolutely breathtaking. So join me in one last video as we take a look at the incredible future that lies just beyond the last great day. In our final video, we'll take a look at how the end of God's holy day plan marks the beginning of something much greater. 
Click next to continue watching and for further reading, be sure to download our free booklet, From Holidays to Holy Days, God's Plan for You.